so this was kind of fun to create. Here's the requirement. We want to take every row of data that we have here, repeat it over here, and add three blank rows below it where we repeat the city and the date, and then cascade, kind of repeat, but cascade those three numbers going down on a diagonal. Then we go back, we get the next row here, and we take it, we put it in there, repeat it with three rows, and cascade the numbers again. And this was a real question someone had for me. So um, we could, how, if this is a repetitive task, we know that we could e we could do this with VBA. Take some time, invest, learn VBA, or get a programmer, and we could create the solution and just click a button in the end to each time take this and transform it into this, even if it's a hundreds or a few thousand rows. Not that difficult uh, if you invest the time in it. Or we could use formulas as well. Uh, now. If it's not a repetitive task and we just need to do this one time only, then you could use VBA, you could use formulas, but I'm going to show you a way that was kind of fun to create that doesn't require VBA or functions. All right, so here we go. Very first step is we want to add a counter to this. So I'm just going to call this C1, type in a 1, and then in here I'm going to just right-click, drag down, and use fill series. So 1, 2, 3, 4. That's our counter. Uh, step number two, we want to copy paste this, but only twice. So it's already highlighted. We're going to copy and paste it, and then we're going to select it a second time, copy and paste. Now we have, uh, for each row, we've got four ones, four twos, four threes, four fours. Next thing, we want to sort by this counter. So we're going to go in here and select table 14. Uh, data, sort, sort by C1 and now we have our groups. So now you can sort of see that we're getting there. The next step is we want to paste the numbers twice. All right, so this is the part that was maybe the most creative. Many ways we could do this, but I thought this was kind of interesting. So we copy this, and there's only three columns. This wouldn't work if we had you know, 50 columns or 100 columns, but very quick thing, we paste it over here as values. We copy, we go down one cell, we paste it again. Now, I'll just click this step here, because this is like three steps in one. So now we're going to go in here, highlight this area, go to special blanks, and then we just simply right-click, delete, and shift to the left. So now we take these guys, copy them, and we go back in here, and we paste as values. So we repeat this for the next guys as well. Let's copy this and paste here and copy this and we're going to go down two cells paste like that go to special which is control g special uh go to blanks and right click delete shift left now we highlight these guys go back into here paste special values now i accidentally pasted another row that's fine we'll just move it up and one last time we want now the the 475 to be in this spot the 966 to be down there. So we do the same thing. We copy this. Uh, we go over here. We're going to paste as values. Um, and now we're going to copy and paste it a second time, but this time all the way down here. Highlight this area. Go to the blanks. Right click. Delete. Shift it left. And then we just highlight these guys. Copy. We go over here paste as values. All right, so I think that is looking perfect. Uh, and now the last thing that we have to do is simply fill this area in, and that's pretty easy. So this is the only little trick. I mean, that is kind of, we're not using any functions, but we are going to do one last time, paste special blanks, and I'm just going to say the fill in the blanks trick is just to say equals the cell above that top left blank equals A2, control enter. So there's no function here, but it is using the equal sign. Uh, so then we'll take this, copy, paste as values. So that is it. Now we have these, um, everything's repeated and it's cascading. And once you get used to this, you could do it in just a couple of minutes.